if you look at uh, both of their resumes, you can make a case that um, uh, both uh, Khabib Namagomedov and Kamara Usman have, both of them have achieved equally um, quite similar feats. Like, um, if you look at the last five opponents of um, uh, Kamara Usman, which has been uh, obviously Colby. Like, if you look at his most notable opponents, it's been Colby, it's been Leon Edwards, it's been uh, Gilbert Burns. Um, obviously Tyron Woodley when he won the title um, and these fighters um, he's managed to dominate and now he's gonna probably fight Colby again and obviously he he's uh, he beat Masvidal as well twice so the, these opponents you can make a case that um, they're actually on par with the fighters that um, Khabib has beaten like obviously Khabib has beaten Dustin Poirier he's been um, Alaquinta he's beaten um Michael Johnson, he's beaten Justin Gaethje, um, and um, a question arises, um, why is it that Khabib is just so popular, while uh, Khabib, uh, Kamara Usman doesn't enjoy the same level of popularity that uh, Khabib does, and there is a case to be made that the reason for that is because um, Khabib, um, there's, a, there's a couple of reasons for that, there used to be a time when Khabib was actually not that popular, he was a fighter that was respected by loads of hardcore fans, but he wasn't as popular as he is now. Now, the main reason that I think he became as popular as he became was because of the fight with Conor McGregor. That Conor McGregor fight really put him on the map. Before that, he, he was a respected fighter, but he wasn't he wasn't really loved the way he is now. Um, but after he beat Conor McGregor, because of Conor McGregor's fame, um, he, he made him a huge star. On top of that... Um, Obviously, you have this um, Islamic connection with uh, Khabib. Um, Khabib uh, really resonates with the um, the Eastern world in terms of like um, the Arabs and all of them. People that are really, um, if you if you look at Muslims, they they make like literally like two billion people in the population. So that's a huge demographic that he's managed to tap into. Uh, Kamara Usman, despite his success, has not managed to get the same level of fame because he's not beaten a fighter on the same level as a as a Conor McGregor. A Conor McGregor is literally the biggest uh, star in the sport. Um, he made Nate Diaz a huge star. Nate Diaz had a bit of underground buzz, but he was nowhere near as big as he is now. If it wasn't for the fights with uh, Conor McGregor, and he made um. He made uh, Khabib a huge star. Khabib did have a bit of a following, but as soon as the fight with um, Conor McGregor happened and he managed to uh, beat Conor McGregor, the following just tripled, like, in size. The thing about Kamara Usman is he's not managed to beat an opponent of a lev on the level of popularity as, a, as a, a Conor McGregor to put him on the map like that. He has, he has beaten very good fighters, like the likes of Colby, um, Gilbert Burns, uh, Leon Edwards, obviously Tyron Woodley. These opponents are eighty eight. Some of them are ATG level fighters. Obviously, if he rematches Colby again, that that would be good. Obviously, the Masvidal fight, the second fight, especially when he knocked him out, that was a huge victory. But the reason why he's not enjoyed the same level of success in terms of popularity as Khabib, and probably not made the same amount of money as him, is because he didn't have that high level win against. A very popular opponent in um, Conor McGregor and on top of that Khabib seems to resonate with the Middle Eastern crowd like the people in the Middle East love him he's got a following when it comes to that and obviously he 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 appeals to like Muslims around the world as well because of them reasons Khabib has become a much bigger star than uh, than Kamara Usman now Kamara Usman could turn it around and he he's a respected fighter that a lot of people do do look up to I'm going to make a separate video talking about why, um, uh, for whatever reason, Khabib did not go up to welterweight and fought, fought um, Kamara Usman and what I think could happen if they both fought each other. But yeah, that's my thoughts below. Tell me your thoughts below. Uh, why do you think that uh, um, Usman, Usman is no, nowhere near as big a star as uh, Khabib despite the fact that his resume is definitely up there? Like, I don't think the resume between a Khabib and a Kamara Usman is that different like Khabib is not levels ahead of Kamara Usman in terms of the level of opposition he's beaten obviously he's undefeated which does give him an aura but apart from being undefeated 
I don't think you can say that he's beaten opponents that are way way better than um, the opponents that Kamara Usman has beaten. Um, I think they're on a similar level. Like you could make a case that Khabib's opponents are better. You could make a case that Kamara Usman's opponents are better. But regardless of what argument you make, you can't say that one of them is levels ahead of his other opponents. Um, but there must be a reason why one fighter is way more popular than another fighter. And Khabib is just way more popular than Kamara Usman is. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's my thoughts below. Tell me your thoughts below. I do actually think Kamara Usman could become a star if he does a couple of things. If he beats Colby, which he already has done, Colby does have a bit of a following. If he fights Nate Diaz and beats Nate Diaz, and then if he fights Conor McGregor and beats Conor McGregor, then I think he could he could become a star. Because of uh, Conor McGregor's fame will go to him if he beats him. And on top of that, um, beating the likes of Nate Diaz, who is quite popular. That fame will go to Kamaru Usman as well as like it did with Masvidal. Masvidal became a huge star after he beat Nate Diaz. Um, obviously he he had some momentum before then, but the Nate Diaz win really put him on the map in Madison Square Garden. So yeah, that's my opinion. Tell me your opinion. Who? Uh, why do you think that Khabib is a bigger star and is more popular than Kamaru Usman, despite the fact that their wins are not too different from each other or too dissimilar from each other? There must be a reason why. So yeah, tell me your thoughts below. Thank you for your time. And uh, like and subscribe. I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace out.